Daf Yomi, Tractate Bava Basra, page 60a, top of the page, with the words Vilis Tom. Vilis Tom, Altar Havi Chazaka Shein, Adam Asui, Shesomim, Shesosmim, Oro, Bifana, Vishosek. And to seal, in other words, if one sealed another's window in his presence, there is an acquired privilege established immediately to keep the window sealed, as it is not common behavior for a person to have his source of light sealed in his presence and remain silent. The fact that he did not immediately protest indicates that the one who sealed the window had the legal right to do so unilaterally, or that the owner of the window agreed. Went into a Litvish, uh, Israeli Litvish pronunciation for a second. Anyway, um, the Mishnah teaches that if one purchased a house in another adjacent courtyard, he may he may not open the house into a courtyard belonging to partners. The Mishnah explains what is the reason for this. Because by adding residents to the courtyard, it increases their traffic. And the residents of the courtyard do not wish to be disturbed by additional people passing through. Amos Seifa. The Gemara questions this, but say the last clause of the Mishnah. Ella. Imratza bona es acheder lifnimi beso. The Gemara questions is, but say the last clause of the Mishnah. Rather, if he desired to build a loft, he may build a room within his house. Or he may build a loft above his house and have it open into his house, not directly into the courtyard. But if he does so, isn't there still a concern that it increases the traffic? Ravuna said as an explanation, what does the Mishnah mean when it says that he, he may build a room? It means that he may divide an existing room in two. And what is the loft? to which the mission is referring. It is an internal story created by dividing an existing space into two stories. And that's all for that. Time for a new Mishnah. The Mishnah states, Lo yiftach adam l'chatzer hashutim pesach keneged pesach v'chalon keneged chalon. The Mishnah says that a person may not open an entrance opposite another entrance or a window opposite another window toward a courtyard belonging to partners so as to ensure that the residents will enjoy a measure of privacy. If there was a small entrance, he may not enlarge it. If there was one entrance, he may not, fa- he may not fashion it into two. Avo poseachu l'rishu sarabim pesach keneged pesach halon v'chalon keneged halon hayakatan ose gozol echad ose shnayim It says, if there was one entrance, he may not fashion. Okay, this is but but one may open an entrance opposite another entrance, or a window opposite another window toward the public domain. Similarly, if there was a small entrance, he may enlarge it, and if there was one entrance, he may fashion it into two. Okay, 
Gemara, the Talmud says, it asks, Mina Hanimili, from where are these matters? Meaning that one may not open an, en- an entrance opposite another entrance, or a window opposite another window derived. Om Rabbi Yochanan, Amar Kra, Vayisa Bilam Ez Einav, Vayar Ez Yisrael Shochein L'Shuatav. Rabbi Yochanan says that the verse states, And Bilam lifted up his eyes, and he saw Israel dwelling tribe by tribe. And the Spirit of God came upon him. Numbers uh, 24.2 I mean, the, those last words, And the Spirit of God came upon him, I think it's in the verse, but it's not quoted in the actual Gemara. It's just in this, uh, you know, this text of the English translation of the Talmud. They, they give the extra at the end of the verse. So, so um, Ma Ra, what did he see? Ra, Shein, Pisri, Aholehem, Mechuvanim, Zelazeh. Um, what did he see? <coughs> That's not what he saw, but uh, I'm just kidding. Uh, see, Ra, she, what did he see? Ra, Shein, Pisri, Aholehem, Mechuvanim, Zelazeh. Yeah. He saw that the entrances of their tents were not aligned with another, ensuring each family enjoyed a measure of privacy and he said if this is the case he said this is the case these people are worthy of having the divine presence rest on them continuing on Hayakatan Loyase Gadol the mission teaches that if there was a small entrance he may not enlarge it. Savar Rami Barhama Lemaymar. Rami Barhama thought to say this means that if the entrance was the width of four cubits, oh, um, ba arbe bar arbae lo shave bar timanaya, the kashakel timanaya bechazir, abo bar tarti, the shave bar arbae shafir, dami. Amar le Rava, Matsi Amar le Pischazutra Matsena de Itz Tinoi Minach, Be Pischaraba lo Matsena Itz Tinoi Minach. The mission, t- okay, so it's going back to what Murray Barthama said. I said the whole piece in order to keep the idea continuously flowing um, when I read it in English. Murray Barthama thought to say this means that the entrance was. With the four cubits, one may not fashion into its of, of eight cubits, as he would then be allowed to take eight corresponding cubits in the courtyard. The halacha is that one is entitled to utilize the area of the courtyard up to a depth of four cubits along the width of the opening. But if the entrance was the width of two cubits and one wishes to fashion it to the width of four cubits, one may well do so. As in any event, he already had the right to use an area of four cubits by four cubits in front of the entrance. Rava said to him, this is not so. As his neighbor can say to him, I can conceal myself from you with there being a small entrance, but I cannot conceal myself from you with there being a large entrance. Echad lo yas and Ushnaim Savar Rami Bar Hamal Vemar Bar Abail Yashre Tre Bene Tarti Tarti de Kashakil Timni Bechatzer Aval Bar Tamne Yashve Bene Arba Arba E Shapir Dami Omale Rove Rove said to him Matsule um, basically the same thing just repeated more or less um, the mission teaches that there is one entrance you may not fashion to two in this case as well remember Hamad thought to say that this means that the entrance if the entrance width was four cubits he may not make it into two openings 
each with the two cubits, as he would then be allowed to take eight corresponding cubits in the courtyard for 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 each entrance. But if he was the width of eight cubits, and he wishes to make it into those two openings, each the width of four cubits, he may well do so. And in any event, he has already had the right to use an area of eight cubits by four cubits in front of his entrance. Rava said to him, This is not so. As his neighbor can say to him, I can conceal myself from you with there being one entrance, but I cannot conceal myself with you with there being two entrances. Aval, aval. I think we can do it. Poseach uh, l'rishus rabim. Poseach k'negen haba k'negen. But the Omer lay sof sof haba is it's denoi mi mi bene bene. The mission teaches that one may open an entrance opposite another entrance or a window opposite another window. To the public domain, why is this so? Because he can say to the one who wishes, wishes to protest, ultimately you must conceal yourself from the people of the public domain since you cannot stop them from passing by and therefore cannot engage in behavior that requires privacy with your entrance open if as it is, uh, it is of no consequence to you. If I open an entrance as well, new Mishnah. Ain't no sin chalal tachas v'shus harabim boy rois shichin ima arois. That's the uh, Israeli Lutherish pronunciation coming out again. Uh, one may not form an empty space beneath the public domain by digging pits, ditches, or caves. Rabbi Eliezer Matir k'dei shetehe agola mehalechen zutun avonim. Ein moitzin zizin u gezus trois rishus horabim al imrotsa koines letoich sheloi moitzi loka chotzer u ba zivin u gezus trois rezu bechas koso. One may not form an empty space beneath the public domain. The Mishnah says. One may not form an empty space beneath the public domain by digging pits, ditches, or caves, or be other teams permitted for one to do so, provided that he places a covering strong enough that, that a wagon laden with stones would be able to tread on it without breaking it, therefore ensuring that the empty space will not cause any damage to those in the public domain. One may not extend projections or balconies into the public domain, rather, if you desire to build one. He may draw back into his property by moving his wall and extend the projection to end it uh, to the end of his property line. If one purchases a courtyard in which there are projections and balconies extending into the public domain, this courtyard retains its presumptive status. In other words, the owner has the acquired privilege of their use, and the court does not demand their removal. Okay. We can do this. Only a few more minutes, but let's do it. Uh, okay. Gamar, the Gamar says, Averabonans, Imnin Dimiprius Vilav Adaite. Gamar asks Rabbi Lazar's opinion it, that if covering the space is strong enough to support a wagon laden with stones, then it's permitted to dig. Out the empty space, it is eminently reasonable, but what the rabbis hold? The Gemara answers, there are times when the cover erodes over time. He is not aware thereby potentially causing damage to those in public domain. The Mishnah says that one may not extend projections and back on these into the public domain. The Gemara relates. Rabbi Ami had a projection that protruded into an alleyway, and a certain man also had a projection that protruded into the public domain. And the general public was preventing the man from leaving it there as it interfered with the traffic. He came before Rabbi Ami, who said to him, Go sever your projection, Omar Leh. The man said to him, Omar Nami Isle. Didi Mavoy Mapik, Benim Mavoy 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 M
The man said to him, but the master also has a similar projection. Rami said to him, it is different, as my mind protrudes into an alleyway, where a limited number of people live, and the residents of the alleyway waive their right to protest to me. Yours protrudes into the public domain, which does not belong to any specific individuals. Who can waive their right to protest to you? Rabian, meaning who can who can waive their right to protest to you? Meaning there's so many that, you know, you can't tell the Gemara raised, the Gemara realized Riyani had a tree that was leaning into public domain. There was a certain man who also had a tree that was leaning into the public domain, and the general public was preventing him from leaving it there, insisting that he cut it down as as required by the mission in 27b. He came before Ravyana who said to him, 